One of the most well-known physics equations is E equals mc squared, which Albert Einstein proposed in 1905 as part of his special theory of relativity. It connects energy to mass and the speed of light. Let's dissect the equation and thoroughly examine what it actually means. We will of course start with the first letter of the equation, the letter E. In physics, E, meaning energy, is the ability to do work, or bring about some sort of change. There are many different types of energy, including kinetic energy, which is the energy of motion. Then there is potential energy, which is stored energy, thermal energy, which is heat, and electromagnetic energy, which is light, etc. When referring to energy, its meaning is the total collective amount of energy contained in an object. Now for the next letter in the equation, m. m, meaning mass, is basically referring to matter. In other words, this indicates how much substance or material there is in any object. The mass of an object is also a gauge of its resistance to acceleration after a force has been applied to it. The force of motion, for example. Explained simply, the more mass an object has, the more it will resist the force of motion, and so it will require a greater force of motion energy to move it. In physics, mass is commonly expressed in kilograms. So, according to the equation so far, we now know that energy is equal to mass. C is a fundamental physical constant in physics which represents the speed of light. In a vacuum, which is a space entirely devoid of matter, light moves at a constant speed of around 299,792,458 meters per second. So, according to this formula, an object's energy is equal to its mass times the speed of light squared. What this means is as follows. 1. Energy, mass equivalence. The equation demonstrates that mass and energy have an equality. It suggests that energy and mass can be changed back and forth. The speed of light squared is the unit for converting mass to energy. This shows that a significant quantity of energy can exist in even a small amount of mass. 2. Massive energy. According to the equation, Mass carries energy. By multiplying an object's mass by the square of the speed of light, one can determine the resting energy of the object. It implies that an object still has energy due to its mass, even when it is not moving, in other words, when its kinetic energy is zero. 3. Effects of relativity. Einstein's special theory of relativity, which transformed how we think about space, time, and motion, is where the equation comes from. It illustrates how an object's energy content rises noticeably when it approaches the speed of light. Time dilation and length contraction are examples of relativistic effects that result from an object's energy and mass increasing as it accelerates. 4. Nuclear Reactions the nuclear physics field is also affected by the use of E equals mc squared. It explains the massive energy generated by nuclear processes, such as those that take place in the sun or at nuclear power plants. As dictated by this equation, even small amounts of mass converted into energy is responsible for the immense power released in these reactions. E equals mc squared provides a fundamental connection between energy, mass, and the speed of light. It is a profound equation, and its effects on physics have been profound, influencing how we perceive the cosmos and opening the door to new innovations like nuclear energy.